Hey guys, it's been a long time since you've probably seen me do anything with the S4 because it's been a minute or two, that's for sure. But what I've done, watched a video earlier, watched a guy hook up his Denon S3700s. I have 3500s, there's one there, and I've got one behind me. I just didn't have enough room on the stand to hook them both up. And I've got time code CD in there, and I have that running straight into the S4, just straight through the back. And that's the beauty about the S4 that I always forget sometimes when I'm talking to people about it. That S4 has time code built in. You don't need an audio 2, an audio 4, a 6, an 8, a 10. You don't need anything. Unlike uh, my DDJSX with running Serato, guess what? If I plug a turntable into it or anything else, I can't do any time code of any sort. If you want to do time code like that in a Serato unit, you're going to have to buy a DDJSZ. And after taxes, that's going to cost you $2,500. This unit you're looking at here is an MK1 S4. You can pick up used for about $400. If you want to buy a new one, you pick one up for about like eh, a little over eight. This here, it's something that people have been complaining about forever. They wish they had a motorized platter and tractor. And people tried mapping the NS7 to do it, and it couldn't be done because the NS7 just couldn't do it. You know what I mean? You could get a couple things working, but you couldn't get everything. I actually have a video on there where it shows the NS7 running tractor, except it wasn't running it because this didn't work. Now this, on the other hand, works quite well. It's sick. Let me get the other hand here. Like, you know, and it's responsive. Sorry for the uh, focus here. Pretty hard to do one of those twitchy things when you're holding the camera in your hand, but... Uh... That's something that these Denons have, is that forward, so it only takes my, my forward movement and doesn't take my back movement, right? So then, of course, you have your lead-in, right? If I go to lead-in, and my lead-in takes me right back to the end of the track, right? I'll have to use that for a DJ drop, that sick trip, you know, sick. sick. Then, of course, you're, you know, you can adjust your pitch, right? You never focus on this damn thing, damn yeah, yeah. Fresh breakdown. Yeah. You know, my uh, my pitch shift works. Then reverse. This response was quick too. 
And then even flux, even like a flux mode, when you hit the dump. See how it lifts off? So yeah, that's, um, you know what? I don't want to go on and brag about the fact that I bought a pair of these things with um, this guy over here. With that, Alan Heath is on 62. There's the other one. And uh, flight cases as well, too. With a, that uh, SL1 box for five bills. That's 500 Canadian bills. And um, so, yeah, I get the deal of century. So really, I'm probably going to piece these guys over with this one here. Because you know what? It does work really well with this. This is a pretty good setup. The S4 was always kind of useless to uh, hook up this uh, turntable to it for time code because the input was so low. I never really had it working that well. It might have been because I had an MK1 record on it. I don't really know if that made a big difference or not. But regardless, this is a pretty good setup. Now, I don't have a completely setup where I would have my um, my decks up here, and I'd leave these as my remix decks. And because then you could scratch mix with your remix decks down there, right? Great thing about this system as well, too. Let's go back to the lead-in. <laughs> You can still use your... So, you know, you have the best of everything. You have all the controls. And, um, you've got your hot... You have everything, like... You know what I mean? So you have tractor, you've got four channels, you can have four decks with four platters, you have two of them that are motorized, like, and if something goes down on this thing, pop a CD in here. You know, pop a CD in, like, pop your time code out, pop something in, you've got your music, right? So it's a good backup. Um, I, myself, personally, I'll probably end up picking up a pair of uh, 3700s pretty soon, because then you have MIDI mode on them. And they do hybrid, so you don't need the CD in them. So that's a good backup system. And they're a 9-inch platter. But regardless, just I do a little video, show you guys that stuff real quick. Uh, it's been 8 minutes. Hopefully you're still sticking around that long. And I will talk to you guys a little bit later.